Hi, I'm Philip Shepard, author of the book New Self, New World. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about my book. Um, the issue the book really tackles is the anxiety, the sense of disconnection, the sense of dislocation that we, most of us, generally feel living in our culture as it is today. And a lot of us tend to blame ourselves for that. We think, what's wrong with me? That, that I, I'm feeling so frustrated and anxious. The, the underlying reason for, for that stress is that our culture communicates to us a story about what it means to be human. And it communicates that story in our language, our architecture, our customs, our habits, our hierarchies. And the overarching message of that story is that to be a successful human means that you've learned to rule yourself with your head. And so we think with our heads and and believe that there's not even another choice in the matter because that's where the brain is. How else, how else would we think? In fact, there's a host of other cultures, Mayan, Incan, Japanese, Chinese, that recognize the belly as the profoundest center of our thinking. And it's something that our culture also recognized thousands and thousands of years ago. And we used to, as a, as a European culture, we used to experience our thinking in the belly. And you can see over history how that center slowly rose to the chest in Homer's day and up to the, up to the head uh, about 300 or 400 years later. And we've been in the head ever since. There's a cost to that. There's a cost to not even knowing we have a choice in the matter. If you're living in your head, you will be married to male values. Values of control and systemization and acquisition and abstraction. All of those are crucial values and strengths that, that we rely on as humans. But, but the other side of that equation is what I think of as the female aspect of our consciousness, which is located in the pelvic bowl. And in fact, there is a brain, there is a second brain that neurologists have come to recognize um, that is completely independent and equal, in a sense, to the cranial brain. I was going to say more equal because life can go on if the cranial brain is dead and the, the, the brain in the pelvic bowl um, is healthy. That brain in the pelvic bowl brings us into alignment with what might be called female values. Values that bring us into relationship, into harmony. Values that, that in, encourage nurturing. Um, if the, if the brain in the head is where we can consciously think, the brain in the belly is where we can consciously be. So the cost of living in our heads and, and approaching all our problems as though we could outthink life itself is that, is that we're living disconnected from our own being. And the journey to come back to your being is a journey that will carry you into a place of calm, and clarity and connection. It brings you into relationship with, with all the world in a very different way. So what it comes down to is we have a choice that we're not even exercising at this point. To live in the head is to experience the self and the world in one way. If you drop down into the body, into its vital intelligence, you're exercising your choice to experience your life and the world around you in a very different way. And without even being aware of that choice, I don't know, it feels like a mouse running on one of those wheels. It goes round and round and round. We do that inside our, inside our heads. We go round and round and round. So my book, 
clarifies how that story of our culture is communicated to us, how we've wandered from the genius of integration that lives within each of us and how to find your way back. So I do hope you'll check out my book at some point, New Self, New World by Philip Shepard. Thank you.